Hi everyone, in this video I will be presenting you the live demonstration of a highly advanced online food delivery and ordering management system, Food Panda Clone. You will see the live functioning of the entire Food Panda Clone tech solution that includes Food Panda like online food on ordering app for customers, agent app for delivery agents, and admin panel to run and manage the entire food marketplace from a single place. First off, we have we are discussing the admin panel. On the very top, as you can see, there will be the company logo and branding. There will there will be some links for the website view, the iOS app link and the Android app link. In the dashboard, you have given you know different tiles which also work as a shortcut keys and it also show you the total stats of the pending orders, the total number of active orders, the total delivered orders, total number of can customer cancelled orders total number of promotions there are, total number of food items there are on the platform, total number of categories there are, total number of restaurants there are on the platform, total number of active riders, total number of delivery boy active orders and total number of table booking requests. Uh, just below that this there is this amazing feature which will allow the admin to see and compare the revenue and the orders. Uh, it, it will show the total number of revenue here, it will show the total number of orders here. By comparing both of these, you know, the, the admin can analyze the company's growth and if the admin wants to look for a specific, uh, for the orders from a specific time, so it can be done using this date filter here. Then we have the pending and active order section here, which we will be discussing in the order section. After that, we have the menu. In the menu, we have the different options for categories, food items. Uh, so it will give you basically the, the option for categories, subcategories and the food items. So there is an option to add a category that can be done from here, add a subcategory from here and add a food item from here. Then we have the option for restaurants. In the restaurant section you will get all the details about all the restaurants registered on your platform. On the very top you can see there is option for approved restaurants and then there is the option for unapproved restaurants. If a, if a new restaurant signs up on the platform, it will be moved to the unapproved section. When the admin will click here on this toggle switch to approve the restaurant, then it will move to the approved restaurant section. Then in the approved restaurant section, being the admin, you have the option to again, you know, make a restaurant unapproved. You have all the details like restaurant name, address, phone number, etc. You can view the basic you know, uh, analytics of a particular restaurant from here, like the revenue and the orders. Chat with the restaurant. Admin has the access to everything. You can add a new restaurant by filling in these basic details. In the rider section, you will get all the details of all the riders on your platform. Uh, or you will get the details like image, email, name, phone number, occupation, etc. etc. Uh, being the admin, you have the access to edit the status. That is, if you want to block a particular rider or the availability, which is also available to the ad, uh, agents panel in the agents application. If you want to view the wallet of a particular rider, you can do that. If you want to edit any detail, you have the option for that as well. If you want to delete a delivery boy, there is option for that. Reset delivery boy password, delivery boy chat is op chats option is there and riders in out. Then you have the option to track all the riders. This is again a very fantastic, you know, uh, feature for the admin. If he wants to track any rider at any point of time, he can. That can be done from here. Delivery boy tips option is here, and there is an option to add a delivery boy as well. So by filling in these basic details and choosing if you want to, add, you know, if the delivery boy will be working for all the restaurants or any particular type of restaurant, you can add a new delivery boy. Then we have the option for orders. In orders, you will get the option for pending order, active order, history, order request, return request, table booking requests. And in the pending orders, you will get all the orders that are yet to be approved by the restaurant. Admin has the option to accept or reject the order as well. This also gives an you know uh, additional benefit to the admin. In case a person, uh, in case a vendor is not accepting orders from a very long time or keeping the orders pending for a very long time. So the admin can look out for that and take necessary action. And in the active order section, the admin can see all the all the active orders on the platform right now. Here it will show the delivery boy that has been assigned to the particular order. If you want to reassign the delivery boy, 
if you want to change the status of the order that's all possible here if you want to view the details click on view details and you will get the detailed view of each and everything each and every detail including the order details to the amount details right you can change the delivery boy and you can reassign the delivery boy you can change the status you can print it you can schedule the delivery time everything is possible here then we have the option for history you will get all the previous orders on your platform here then we have the order request if you have the request for any type of specific prescribed order it will be shown here then we have the return requests it will show all the return requests made by the customers status that can be changed and delivery wise then there is a table booking request section where you will get all the details of all the table booking requests made from your platform you have the option to reject or confirm the request or update the table number as well then you have the option for banners banner is nothing more than a marketing tool but it also helps the the admin in additional revenue generation if the admin wants to promote any specific kind of restaurant or a specific kind of food category that can be done using banners which is very very helpful which is very very helpful and if you want to add a new banner that can be done from here by filling in basic details if you want to edit these default banners that is also possible by clicking here and if you want to delete a banner you can do that by clicking here then is the option for promotions this will show you all the promo codes right now on the platform these are some default promo codes which can be edited from here and deleted from here if you want to add a new promo code you can do that by filling in these basic details then you have the option for user subscription in the user subscription uh, if the admin wants to you know initiate any specific kind of subscription plans for the uh, for the users on his class on his platform that can be done from here you can edit a, a particular user subscription plan these are some default plans made by our team and if you want to add a new subscription plan that can be done from here by filling in these basic they by filling in these basic details and user subscription plans also gives uh, some additional benefit to the admin and to the to the user as well then we have the loyalty cards loyalty card is nothing more than uh, an additional benefit provided by the admin to its loyal customers if you want to add a loyalty card that can be done from here filling in base by filling in these basic details then is option for feedback here it will show all the feedbacks given by the users there is an option to delete the feedback as well approve the suggestion or edit the suggestion that can be that will be available to just the admin and then is the restaurant feedback here is the restaurant here it will show the feedback feedback given by the restaurant to the user and then we have the delivery boy feedback given by the delivery boy to the user right then we have the option to notifications it will reflect all the notifications for the admin here for example if the order has been booked uh, it will show the reflect it will reflect the notification when the order has been picked up when the order has been delivered every notification for that will be shown here then we have the option for users in users it will show each and every detail of all the users for, from their name email otp verification status uh, on the basis of their date of joining and then the admin has the option to edit the otp verification status and the number as well and reset the password view the wallet chat with the user right then you have the option option to chat it will reflect to the admin each and every chat then on the platform and if you want to initiate a new chat click on any chat and you have the option to chat again right continue the chat then we have the option to sub admins sub admins are the managers or the people who are there to help you know the admin to divide its workload for example a person is very good in accounting and the admin wants him to handle his account so he can give him the permission for accounts click on permissions give him the permissions for just the account and nothing else give him all the accounts permissions and he will be able to handle each and everything and take actions in the accounting section click on save and this person has been made the accounting sub admin right then you have the option for ratings here you will get the food item ratings here you will get the restaurant rating and their respective details like restaurant name customer date rating and review status if you want to block the rating you have the option for that as well then you have the option for reports it will show you the different reports like user report order report restaurant reports 
delivery boy reports food item reports and user subscription revenue reports so if you want to download these reports you can do that from here in the csv format you will get uh, as the name suggests user report will reflect all the uh, details of uh, each and every order made by each and every user for example it will show the details like email name phone number it is according to the date of registration right and then order report is on the basis of the make of uh, or the placement of order the date and time of placement of order then restaurant report is on the basis of date and time of registration of the particular restaurant and so on user subscription revenue report is a bit different it will reflect you the revenue that you have made with your subscription plans then we have the option for accounting in the accounting first you have the account statement where you will get all the details of each and every order and the details like customer name order delivery date delivery mode promo tax tax basically all the accounting details related to each and every particular order right and the transaction status as well then you will get the option to, for account settlement so this is the settlement of accounts between the admin and the restaurant here the first tab will show the total amount to be paid to the restaurant for online orders as all the online amount is usually collected by the admin and here the next tile will show the total amount to be paid to the admin for the cash order as all the cash is collected by the restaurant and the accounts can be easily settled for example it will show all the details of all the accounts for all the restaurants it will show restaurant id name customer name all order delivery date etc etc if you want to settle the accounts just click on the boxes against which you want the settle you want the accounts to be settled click on the boxes click on pay and as simple as that the accounts are settled then is the delivery boy statement here it will reflect the total amount on the very top to be paid to the riders for the orders and below that it will reflect all the details of all the accounts with the delivery boys like delivery boy name restaurant name order delivery date distance per kilometer distance duration delivery charges delivery boy tickets etc etc every detail will be shown here and if you want to settle the accounts with all the delivery boys it's again the same we have the option for delivery boy settlement in the delivery boy settlement as we did with the uh, with the restaurant settlement or the account settlement that was for the restaurants and the admin this is for the admin and the delivery boys same uh, whoever is not paid like these all are paid whoever is not paid will be shown a box here and by checking in the box and clicking on pay you can pay to the specific delivery boy right then is the restaurant payout request it will reflect all the payout requests made by the restaurant and same goes for the delivery boy payout requests then is the option for settings in the settings first you have the basic settings like if you want to change the email address phone number country logo and header and fit footer options referral amounts everything will be shown here you will also get the option to uh, make changes in the cancellation policy here then is the default address terminology if you want to make any changes in the terminology being used on the platform then is the option for email notifications if you want to send the email notifications to all the users or all the restaurants at a single point of time that's visible from here same goes for push notifications if you want to send push notifications to all the users or all the restaurants just type in the content and select mark all or if you want to send it to particular users you can do that as well terms and conditions privacy policy about us and faqs these all are customizable as per the company policies payment gateways we use stripe for, for our default payment gateway but any payment gateway of your choice any one payment gateway of your choice will be free of cost social logins map chatbot notifications analytics split payment option is there only for the stripe chat service and these are the basic settings here let's move on to the customer app and the agent's application as well this is the customer application for the food panda clone on the very top the customer will get the option to choose or his or her location he can search the location manually use the current location add a new address or he will or she will also get the option from his previous locations then is the option to search for any specific kind of food category or restaurant that is also there and there is the option for notification then 
the person can choose from delivery self pick up and dine in then he can also choose from wallet if you want he, if he or she wants to look into the wallet there is option to that as well there is option to add money to the um, account or to the wallet send money to someone and all the history of the wallet will be shown here then is the option for card let's suppose the person adds something to the card so this is all added in the card you can choose the quantity by these plus and minus signs proceed if he clicks on proceed he will be directed to the card you will again get the option to choose from the location then is the option for subscriptions if there are any there is the option again to you know manage the quantity of the order add a tip to the delivery boy let's suppose he gives you for four percent tip apply for loyalty points as we have loyalty points so we can choose from there promo codes if any choose the payment method like there are there is money in the wallet so let's choose the wallet click on order now and the order has been placed as simple as that as you can see the user application has been made very very user friendly no user will be having any problem in using or operating the customer application right then he will be directed to the order details section if he wants to edit the order or cancel the order there is option to that as well and he will be shown the status of the order like if the order is in kitchen or on the way so he can check it from here then is the option for orders he will see all the pending and complete orders here and if you want if he wants to cancel any order the person can cancel the order from here then is the option for his account settings like if he wants to edit anything if you want if the person likes the application and wants it to you know wants to refer it to his friends and family that is that can be done from referral he can check his loyalty points from the loyalty point section and if you, if you want to share the app directly that is there is the option to for that again and terms and conditions which as we discussed is customized according to the company's policies same goes goes for about us privacy policy in sos and wish list is there if the person adds something which is which he wants to eat in future to the wish list and the option is there as well subscription option is there wallet we have already looked into chat with admin is there table bookings are there feedback option is there support number email and support email and option to log out right then we have the option so this is how the agent's application looks like the agent can choose on the very top this toggle switch will enable him to choose if he wants to be online or if he is working right now or not then he will get all his active orders here in the active order section under this active slab and if he clicks on history he will get all his pending orders right then is the option for revenue like on which date he started what is the end date what is the total revenue generated by the particular agent the agent can look for that if he goes in the profile section he will get a simple option to edit his profile check his job status and sign out that's it as you can see here the admin will get notified about the new order that has been placed on its platform that's it the food panda clone in case you need a well researched business plan and revenue generation plan to build a food delivery marketplace like food panda check out the description below also if you want the cost to make a delivery app check out this video book free consultation with our experts sign up on the link given in the description below thank you for watching